more, should we, president of the British Science Association, uh, Anne-Marie Imafiden, uh, who's also the author of She's in Control, How Women Can Take Back. Tech is with us. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Where are we with AI? How concerned should we be? Suggestions that it's um, akin to a pandemic or a nuclear war? I mean, we should be concerned. There are, there are lots of things to, worried about, to be worried about. There are lots of risks, but also lots of opportunities. And I think this is what we have to remember. It's not too late, right? A lot of these things that are being said are if we continue on the trajectory, if we continue with the type of people that are making these technical decisions and building in these uh, assumptions into the AI. But, you know, there's, there's still time for us to have guardrails. There's still time for us to have other people learn more about the AI and contribute to not only what it's doing, but why we're using it for these particular um, use cases. So there's, there's, it's not too late, that's so what I would say. So how do we do that? How do we put these checks and balances in place? And what about um, nations that perhaps don't want to? Well, I mean, nations that don't want to, that's, that's completely up to them, but, but we, we can do what, what we can within our own jurisdiction. Um, and I liken it, it's, it's kind of guardrails, right? So it's a little bit like when we first had cars, everyone was kind of driving all over the place and there are lots of accidents that were happening and we kind of brought in the highway code and said, everyone just drive on the same side of the road. Why don't we all just do that, all right? And it'll be a little bit safer. And there's all these other uh, elements that we've put into this code and I think it's the same thing that we need to be able to build up for AI. These regulations, these guardrails to say this is what is OK, these are the boundaries that we'll have and these are ones that actually you can go and innovate within that. So I think that's important. I think the other thing is education. It's really, really important, not just in early ages and for under 18s, but for the general population to build a literacy in this and in wider technology, digital literacy. This is no longer something that's a niche for just a certain set of people or certain part of society, but all of us should have some sort of idea, some sort of basic literacy in the same way that many of us have an opinion on immigration, even though we're not immigration lawyers.